Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. It's Brianna and you probably know me best from my study vlogs and my productivity videos and I thought it would just be fitting to show you my favorite apps and Chrome extensions for students and how they increase my organization and my productivity. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. So like every study YouTuber, I'm going to tell you guys about my Notion and this is my Notion tours. This is actually a template from a different YouTuber. I've linked her channel and her template before. I'm going to link it again. It's in the description box. Moving on to my Notion tour. This is my homepage as you guys can see. Here I just have my name at the top and all these pictures are from Pinterest or Google and on this column here I have a daily to-do list. I have all my completed tasks over here because I am a hoarder and I love to keep track of every single thing that I've ever accomplished and this is just my daily to-do list here. I just have some things for my extracurriculars and then I have picture and then I have my repeats playlist from Spotify if you guys are interested in seeing what I listen to it's basically just BTS and Taylor Swift in this column I have university so I have my course selection here and I just have my grades and what term it was in and then I also have clubs and commitments so these are the clubs and the research positions that I am currently interested in I also have my resume right here and then I have my get shit done, which is my weekly plan. So this is the plan that you guys see in every single one of my study vlogs. So let me just open up this week's. Here I have my quote of the week, work smarter, not harder. And then I have my song of the week. And then I have every single task that I laid out for myself this week. And then I have things that I want to do on the weekend. And then I have upcoming deadlines. And then I have reflections. So I just have a reading list. It's very short. And then I have over here my adulting section, which is just personal and finance. I only use the finance one. So here you can see every single thing that I've spent money on. Yeah, it's a great way for me to stay organized and um, I don't know, be a real adult for once. And then lastly, I just have my monthly to-do list of things that I have for long-term goals and some video ideas as well. So I probably don't have to tell you guys this, but I recommend getting Notion because it's a great way for you to stay organized in almost all aspects of your life. So you guys saw, I have my YouTube on here, I have school on here, I have my finances and my extracurriculars. Literally everything that's going on in my head that like makes me stressed, I have all laid out in my Notion. And I'm all about trying to declutter my mind and take care of my mental health and not overwhelm myself. So that's why I really like this template. And again, everything is linked in the description box below. Next up, we have today's sponsor which is identity and if you don't know what identity is it's basically a chrome extension that helps you simplify your browsing experience so it's perfect for me as an online student because naturally i have a million tabs open mentally and physically so this is just a great way for me to stay organized digitally especially because i spend so much time online and keep all of my most used websites in one neat and tidy place and i highly recommend this to anyone who is doing online classes or just doing any work from home so this is what my command center looks like instead of small tabs we have these nice big tiles and at the top here I have favorited my most used tiles while the rest just follow alphabetically you can also sort the tiles into categories when you're making them and I really like this feature because you can't do this with regular chrome bookmarks and it's all just kind of cluttered and unorganized so this is why I really like it and you can also easily search up these categories at the top of the search bar over here or just in this drop down menu so these are all of my categories. There's adulting, entertainment, school, socials. Now, if we go into my school category, it has my school website, special course websites, my school email, and Notion. So if we just click on one of my tiles, let's say my school website, um, I have already inputted my username and my password. So the tile just opens up my school website right away, goes straight to the homepage because that is the link that I have set it as. So it's really customizable and really helpful and it saves a lot of time. And the same goes for my email and my Notion and all the other tiles that I have set up. I highly recommend trying Identity out. It's free. You can download it from the link in the description box below. It's just really helped me declutter my browsing experience and keep me organized as an online university student. So moving on, my next favorite Chrome extension is Video Speed Controller and it basically does everything that's in the title it controls the speed of your videos so i like to use this especially on pre-recorded lectures because they are like up to an hour or an hour and a half long and i don't have the attention span to sit here and listen to the same monotone voice and a really really slow pace so i like to just speed things up a little quicker so i stay engaged and have my attention not deviate or if you have a video that's just going way too fast or a prof that's speaking too quickly then of course you can use this to slow the speed down as well and then you don't have to go back to the same part of the video over and over again to understand it you can just slow it down and understand it the first time 
everyone has their own type of like studying technique or timing system. I like the Pomodoro timer. So I like to use the app Flora and it's basically this game version where you plant a seed for a specific amount of time that you set in your Pomodoro timer. So it could be 25 minutes, 45 minutes. And if you get distracted and go on your phone or exit the app, the plant ends up dying. So it's just like a little incentive for you to stay focused. So I like to use Flora with Do Not Disturb. That way I can use my time efficiently and get some productive studying done and not just like sit here mindlessly while getting distracted. So I highly recommend that you guys check out timer apps and I just happen to like Flora because I like plants. Now, a, another Chrome extension that I love, especially if you're a science student like me, you're going to be citing a lot of articles and doing a lot of research for your classes. So I love the Chrome extension Zotero and it just looks kind of like this in the corner. And anytime that you are reading an article or a journal or something and you want to remember it or bookmark it for later, you just click this little tab here and there's all these different folders that I have made. So there's one for SBCOM, AHS 100, research and others. And I just save it to the class that I'm doing the research for. So this is actually an article that I was reading for my SBCOM research paper. So I just click that and it saves here into my Zotero library. So here you can see all the different articles that I had read and they are all just saved here. So this is a great way to not get in trouble for plagiarism because you are citing everything and you are remembering all the websites that you took information from and it's all just with the click of a button. So it's really great. The last app that I want to mention to you guys is called Discord. So if you haven't heard of what Discord is, it's basically a community creating platform where you can talk to people, you can play games, you can voice or <laughs> I'm literally getting Discord notifications. So you can do voice or face calls, you can game together, you can study together, you can create little bubbles and group chats and you can join different servers. I know a bunch of different YouTubers have Discord servers where they all study together. I don't have my own server specifically for YouTube, but I do have little group chats with all of my friends where we do practice problems and questions together. So it's a really great way to connect with people, especially with all of our online classes and we're all e-meeting people at the moment. So it's just a really great way to stay connected and not lose your social skills. Another feature that's really nice about Discord is that you can add bots to your server. So say I have a server with a bunch of my friends that I do have one and we have a groovy bot which basically you can request songs off of YouTube and they'll just play in the background while you're studying with your friends. And what's great about studying with friends is that it motivates me to continue working and it keeps everyone accountable because we all just see each other working and I've been using it for a really long time so I actually highly recommend it. So guys that is the end of the video thank you so much for watching if you made it this far all these apps and extensions are my tried and true favorites they've honestly made such a big difference in my productivity as an online student so I highly recommend checking them all out they're going to all be in the description box below and I just want to say thank you to Identity one more time for sponsoring this week's video so with that all being said I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey.